Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 predictions. Literally just as the weekend finishes, League 2 are back for this midweek. So here's my predictions for the midweek, plus going over the weekend results as I go through the fixtures. Guys, just a quick reminder, I am trying to get to a thousand subs come May, so if you can share my videos, and let's see if we can get this channel to a thousand subs come May. And that'd be a big thank you from me. And that'd be a special video once I reach a thousand subs. Um, but obviously, the best way you can help me is by sharing my videos. Letting people know about this channel. And, you know, let's see if we can accomplish it. Um, but it's truly up to you guys whether, you know, how quick you want to see this special video I've got in store. But um, anyway, guys, you know what to do. You know what I'll do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. <laughs> My first one is Bradford versus Port Vale. Bradford beating Crawley 2-1 at home. Um, I think I had that result for a 2-2. Two -two. Um, but, you know, good result for Bradford. Overall, um, Paul Vale on the other hand, a point against Stevenage at home and um, one all scoreline. Great point, probably more on Stevenage end than the Paul Vale end. Um, but maybe if I was a Paul Vale fan, probably happy with a point because I know how well Stevenage has been doing. Bradford, if I was a Bradford fan. I probably be, would be, you know, really chuffed with beating Crawley 2-1 at home. Um, but, you know, Crawley and teams that got defeated this weekend have to move on quickly because of their midweek games. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Bradford City win. My next one is Cambridge versus Grimsby. Cambridge beating Exeter. 4-0, yeah, that's not a misprint. I thought it might just be a little misprint now. Well, you know, my eyes need a bit of testing. Um, and Grimsby lost 4-0 to Lake Norman at home. Disappointing day for both clubs. Um, you know, well, no, not disappointing day for uh, Cambridge, obviously, beating Exeter 4-0. Um, a good day for Cambridge. I mean, on the Exeter end, I'll talk about that more. When I'll get down to the Exeter game. Um, but this point, a uh, good day for Cambridge. Um, this point, day for Grimsby. Great result for Lake Norman. And yet again, I'll speak more about that when I get down to their fixture. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 0 Cambridge win. My next one is Carlisle versus Northampton Town. Um, Carlisle United. Losing 2 0 away to Plymouth Argyle. Northampton Town beating Sulphur City 2 0 at home. Great three points for Northampton, but I won't go and knock Northampton going into this weekend because of how well they have been doing. I think Crawley picked up a point against them the previous weekend before, if my um, memory is correct. But, you know. Northampton going up against Sulphur City, I expected nothing less um, of someone like Northampton on how they've been doing in recent weeks. Um, Carlisle losing 2 0 against Plymouth Argyle. Um, probably a bit expected because um, I know how well Plymouth you know, can do at home. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Northampton Town win. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Macclesfield Town. Cheltenham Town beat Walsall 2-1 away from home. Macclesfield beat Oldham 1-0 away from home. Good three points for both of these teams. Um, you know, both being away from home. Cheltenham probably um, a bit more expected over, you know, how the league table is. Um, Macclesfield, yeah, I think I had a draw for that one. Uh, please feel free to go back and check it out. Um, but, you know, great three points for both teams. But as far as this result goes, 
I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Colchester United. Um, Colchester losing one nil at home to Morecambe. Crew Alexander beating uh, Swindon Town three one at home. Great three points for Crew Alexander. Um, disappointing day for Colchester. Um, probably against the odds, you know, overall. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Crew Alexander win. My next one is Mansfield versus Salford City. Salford losing 2 0 away from home to Northampton Town. Mansfield losing, I know, sorry, drawing before his screen away from home 2 2. Great point for Mansfield. How well Forest Green have been doing, I'll talk about that more in a minute. That's a great point for Mansfield. I don't think I expected that. Um, but still a great point for Mansfield. Disappointing day. I can't say at the office because Salford City ran at home, but a disappointing day for Salford City. Um, but as I said on Northampton Town, I expect nothing less. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Morecambe versus Forest Green. Just that you mentioned Forest Green losing. Uh, sorry, not losing. I've got losing stuck around for some reason. Drawing 2 2 with Mansfield Town. Um, disappointing day for Forest Green. I think Forest Green went 2 0 up as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Morecambe beating Colchester 1 0 away. From home, great three points for Morecambe. That forest green result on the forest green end disappoints me a lot. Um, you know, where forest green are, and no disrespect to Mansfield or nothing like that. It, you know, but as I said, great point for Mansfield, disappointing that the office for forest green, in my opinion. Um, please feel free to put your own down below. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Forest Green win for that one. My next one is Newport County versus Crawley. Crawley losing 2 1 away to Bradford. Newport beating Scunthorpe 2 1 at home. I've already, um, you know, in our previous videos, how dangerous Newport are. Talk about more about them in a minute. Crawley, on the other hand, I knew I put a draw for that one. Um, but great three points for Bradford um, said that their fixture. Um, Crawley, on the other hand, this one at the office. Um, what I have seen, um, well, sorry, what I've, what I've heard is a disappointing day for Crawley. Newport, dangerous at home, great three points for Newport, but as far as this game goes, I go for a 3-1 Newport win. No disrespect to Crawley, I just don't know how Newport could do at home. Um, my next one is Oldham Athletic versus Walsall. Walsall losing 2-1 at home to Cheltenham Town. Oldham Athletic losing 1-0 at home to Macclesfield. Um... Both teams, both teams lose um, this previous weekend just gone. So for this one, I'm just going to give you the result. I'll go for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Lake Norian. Plymouth Argyle beating uh, Carlisle United 2-0 at home. Um, Lake Norian beating Grimsby 4-0 away from home. Great three points for Lake Norian. I cannot underestimate that result enough um, for Lake Norian's point of view. Lake Norian, don't forget, are still newly promoted to League 2. I know they went down, um, but, you know, they still had to come back up, so they're still new to League 2, if you know what I mean. Um, but, you know, great three points for uh, Lake Norian, great result. Great three points for Plymouth as well, Plymouth Argyle. 
but probably just expected. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Exeter City. Scunthorpe United losing 2-1 away to Newport. Exeter losing 4-0 away from home against Cambridge United. Disappointing day for Exeter City. Now let's not, you know, cover Exeter and, you know, it could be an off day, it's one of them days, it's, you still lost 4 0 to Cambridge. Expect a little bit more of your Exeter. Um, this point day for Scunthorpe, but as I said, I know how strong Newport could be at home. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Exeter City win. My last one for this weekend is Swindon Town versus Stevenage. Stevenage drawing 1 0 away from home against Port Vale. Swindon Town. Be a uh, losing to Crew Alexander 3 free, 1 free away from home. Disappointing day for Swindon Town. Great point for Stevenage. As I said on Stevenage end, that point against Port Vale is probably more vital to you than what it is to Port Vale. No disrespect to Port Vale. But where's uh, Stevenage are, you know, that point could be crucial coming the end of the season. Um, Swindon Town losing 3 1 to uh, Crew Alexander. Probably expected a little bit more Swindon Town, but yet, yeah, probably a result that was with the odds. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Swindon Town win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.